So hey guys, so I wanted to show you the final product. They're getting the last coat on your little garden stakes. Aren't those cute? Yeah, so I put the last coat on them and you can see that some of the, um, oh, the Sharpie kind of ran a little bit, but that's okay because it still has, I mean, they're, they're just so fun, you know? I can't believe how good they turned out. Look how cute those are. Peas, tomatoes. But aren't those just so cute? And I got these little, these wood stakes um, from work. And I just drew those on there. And they're all unique. They're all hand drawn on there. And then Alicia painted them for me. So... Aren't those neat? Yeah. <laughs> so they're all getting their final coat and they're all um they're all standing up. And it was so neat about it is I just basically what I did was I cut them all into it was like 11 11 inch lengths. And here's here's how they came. They came in between um some of our styles. So this is raw. This is how long they were. And there's just they're just little slats that I got from work and brought home and I just cut them into 11 inch lengths drew my little picture on there and then Alicia painted them for me and then I just used polyurethane to seal them but aren't those cute I mean that's such a, a little neat idea I'm thinking about making a whole bunch of them and um, maybe trying to sell a little bit at work. And this is the lacquer that I used. It is superior scratch protection, no sanding between coats, and it's a crystal clear lacquer. And it, in 30 minutes, it dries. Yes, it, and it does. It works. <coughs> so this is a really great product if you guys do a lot of um, crafty stuff and you need it to like dry really quick yeah I love I just love how they turned out those are so cute I just can't believe how how really cute they are and the tomatoes especially look at those tomatoes aren't those cute I think I like the tomatoes and the carrots the best. See those cute carrots. <laughs> I just can't believe how cute they are, you know? And you guys don't you guys don't necessarily have to even use them out in your garden. They would be kind of cute to just kind of hang up and put in a little frame. You know, like out in a little garden shed or or you know, even in your kitchen. That'd be cute. I just thought about that. Maybe I'll have to make me a set and put up in the kitchen. But yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. Isn't that cute? Very cute, crafty idea you could do with your kids. I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot to, uh, to do a little project like this. Because basically these are just like, look how thin those are. Almost like a little bit of nothing, a little bit of, I don't even know. You could probably find these probably at Menards, I would imagine. So a little like, I don't know, scrap kind of piece of wood or something. Yeah. Your husband, if you have a husband or you have tools yourself, you could probably rip some of these down because they're like um, three sixteenths. Well, actually, it's it's almost, might be almost an eighth of an inch. You could probably rip a couple of those with some scrap wood and make your own, too. Yep, really neat. Thanks for watching, guys.